hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to review rockov.cpp which is a cli or command line interface library from rockov for rockov models to run the inference on these models just by using cpu locally another interesting fact is that this rockov.cpp has recently been shipped on almost every windows 11 instance by microsoft and i believe that they are using it behind the scenes for their copilot that in return is using fi model so it is that performant and it is that ubiquitous now which is quite interesting okay coming back to this rockov.cpp if you don't know what rockov is i already have done heaps of videos on rockov in fact i just did a video yesterday on the newly released rockov model finch 1b6 and i have went into way more detail into rockov architecture we have installed this model locally and then we tested it out just to give you a bit uh, of an intro and head start on rockov rockov or RWKV stands for Receptance Weighted Key Value. It is a new architecture that combines the benefit of RNNs and transformers while fixing their weaknesses. It is designed to be efficient, scalable, and good at handling sequential data like text or time series. And as I mentioned in my other video, which you can see on your screen, you can just search with RWKV and you should be able to find those videos where I have discussed in detail about Rockov architecture, RNN and transformers. Okay, so now the stage is set. Let's go back to this Rockov.cpp. So this Rockov CPP is uh, a CLI which enables you to do int4, int5, int8 and floating point 16 or half precision inference on CPU for any Rockov model. This is pr primarily a port of rock of lm to ggml it also supports a lot of other quantizations and not only you can run it on cpu but also on the gpu and there are a lot of other things which uh, are quite cool about this and especially when it comes to quality or performance because um, Already the rock of models, especially the version 5 ones or version 6 ones which have been released are quite fast. And then when you combine them, them with this rock of .cpp, the inference becomes quite decent. Okay, so that said, let's go to my local terminal. We will get it installed first and then we will see how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Master Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. You can use it easily on CPU. The instructions will be same. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, so that said and done, let me switch over to my terminal where i am running ubuntu 22.04 let me clear the screen and let me get out of this directory so the first step i'm going to do i'm just going to create a virtual environment with conda i'm just using 3.11 with rockov so let's wait for it to get created and activated and then we are going to install some of the prerequisites and the virtual environment is done let's install the prerequisites which include torch numpy tokenizer and few other libraries let's wait for it to get installed this is going to take a couple of minutes all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen next git clone the repo of rockov.cpp let's wait for it and then we will cd into it this is going to take a bit of a time that is all done okay so let me clear the screen and let show you the content of it you can see that there is a lot of rock of stuff in it okay so the repo is done let me clear the screen next up uh, you would need to go to the release page from the same github repo which i have shown you and let me actually take you there to quickly show you what i mean so this is the browser where we have rockof.cpp and i will drop the link to it in video description if you scroll down and click on releases you will be taken to this screen now from here just download the version if you are using windows uh, download it according to your operating system 
I am using Ubuntu so I will go with Ubuntu but you can see that not only you can install it on Windows or you could go with uh, this Mac OS if you like so I already uh, so let me download it let me go back I have grabbed the link of it and this is my terminal and in order to download it in the root of this rockhub.cpp repo just type wget and this and this has been downloaded if I quickly do ls dash ltr you will see that rockhub is there so just to unzip and then unzip it in the same root repo and that is done let's quickly do ls dash ltr again so there we have our um, so file which has the llama dot uh, .cpp. okay so let's clear the screen next up you can just create a directory called as model so the reason why I am creating this directory is to download a Rockov model so that I could use it with Rockov.cpp and you can go with any Rockov model from Hugging Face. I am just going to go with this pile one. It's a smallish model so should be quick. So if I just quickly show you, this is the model and if I quickly show you the size, it's very small, just 60k just for the purposes of testing. So that is done. Now let me go back one directory and next thing which, which we need to do is to convert uh, this PyTorch file into the uh, Rockov format so that if we could use it and for that the command is this and you can find this from their github repo i will also drop the all the commands in my blog and i will give the link in video description so that it will be easier for you Okay, so let me run it to do the conversion so you see once you sorry so um so you see once you run it it is going to convert it into rock uh, bin format so if i quickly take you to the models directory and do ls dash ltr you will see that we have now our bin directory and earlier i think i pasted this command too early because the size of the model is slightly bigger around 324 meg okay so now we have our model let's get out of this directory now in order to do the inference all you need to do is to run this command python 3 and then we are just doing completion with the newly uh, converted model so let's run it it is just going to run that generation script if it is okay i think ah sorry i didn't give the correct path let me give the correct path to the model and let's quickly check the model um, directory and then let's go here and then let's replace it with a proper model name let me give it this model name and you see that now it is running after i gave it the proper model name and look at the speed of it like just under two second and 20 millisecond per token and this is simply phenomenal as you can see it has first loaded the rockov model and then it has done the generation with rockov.cpp in a blindingly fast stuff now if um, the script which we used was this i'll just go to cd if you do generation and this is a script it has used you can of course uh, just change it or you know whatever prompt you like it has just done the completion so for example if i just let me change it and we'll run it again so i have just changed it to this happiness is and i will let it complete what it does so i'm just going to clear the screen and let's run that okay so i would sorry i would just need to get out of this and go here and now i can simply run that command for the completion hopefully this is a command let's wait for it to come back yep there you go happiness is look at the speed how fast that is wow <laughs> amazing stuff happiness is always in your hearts okay that is good okay so let me clear the screen here another thing which you can do is to chat with the bot by running this command with the same model so once you run it it is going to download the model as you can see here and then chat has been initialized and you can just uh, start talking with it you just said hello 
and i don't know what lhc is can you explain what is contentment okay board i don't okay so this is not the this is just a very small teeny tiny ever rock of model let's see um what it can do here two plus two is equal to what is solution you tell me but anyway so if you just grab a good bottle from hugging face and then replace it i think you can uh, talk with it i don't think so this is an instruction tuned model which i have downloaded seems like a base model but anyway uh, at least now you know how to get the rockup.cpp installed how to download the model how to do the inference with it and how to do the chatbot so it looks quite cool to me as uh, rockup really is fast lives up to its name and as i mentioned earlier if you want to know more please go to my channel and then search with other rockup stuff there is a lot of videos i have done on rockup not only this year but for the last various months so that's it guys i hope that uh, it was useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching